on February 25th, 2021. I released the sophomore curse did Lord lost her audience video. And I know you could not hear shit as I had just started releasing videos on YouTube and audio was not my specialty and it still isn't today. And although the title and video were standalone pieces, it received rave reviews from Lord's amazing stand base. The video got a shit ton of likes and a colossal amount of positive comments. <laughs> I'm just playing. The video was shitted on. Lord's cult following took a big doogie. <clears throat> anyway, this is Lord is losing her power. Lord rose to fame in 2013 due to the massive success of her debut single, Royals, an edgy minimalistic art pop track that reeks of teen spirit. Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball was sitting comfortably atop the US Hot 100 before being replaced by the at the time brand spanking new artist from New Zealand. The Kiwi singer's debut studio album, Pure Heroine, was released the same year and it received mainly positive reviews. Lord's debut studio album became the first debut album by a female artist to sell over 1 million copies in the US since Adele's 2008 19. So it was safe to say it was set up for big things. But as the young artist's fame started to climb to the upper echelon of the pop realm of acts like Taylor Swift and Miley Cyrus, she vanished. And we did not get a new album from Lord until all the way in 2017, almost four years later. Unfortunately, Lord's second album, Melodrama, which received critical acclaim, would suffer commercially, selling to date a disappointing 500,000 copies, while her debut, Pure Heroine, sold 3 million in the US. Now, let's get this straight. Melodrama trumps Pure Heroine. Both albums are great, but Lord and her team wasn't fast enough to strike while it was hot, and by the time Melodrama came out, a lot of Lord's fanbase have found refuge in other artists like Lana Del Rey, who kind of established the sound that Lord was writing, and an upcoming Halsey. If you're not releasing at least two years apart, no one's sticking around, no one's waiting a hundred years for an album anymore. Anybody got time for that? It's a new day. Na -na 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 -na. Bling, 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 bling. Lord dropped her third studio effort, Solar Power, on August 20th last year. The psychedelic folk pop project issued four singles, Solar Power, Love That Track, Stone at the Nail Salon, Love That Track, Mood Ring, and Fallen Fruit. Solar Power received mixed reviews upon its release, receiving a 69 out of 100 score from Metacritic. Honestly, the album is forgettable as hell. Not that hell is forgettable, and not that I've been there. I hear you taking a shit. Now, the album definitely has its highlights. Solo Power, the leading single, I find to be a breath of fresh air. A fun beachy summer song that reminds me of Summer from Rick and Marty, and the music video reminds me of the film Midsummer. Very occultist, which I find very fun. Wait. Why do I find that fun? The third track, California, Lord saying goodbye to all the models, all the balls, back to clouds in the skies in a whole new way. Then the album takes a sharp turn with Stone at the Nail Salon. A lot of us don't know, but you're getting older, and at some point, you have to retire from stripping. What? What the fuck? The album reminds me of a soundtrack to a movie that was released in the late 90s, early 2000s. A soundtrack I rather hear in the movie, but not by itself. By the way, La La Land is the best soundtrack ever. And yes, I propped up one soundtrack while putting down another. After listening to the album, I can't help but feel like Lord has done everything and she just wants to retire at this point. Solar Power. It's not the worst album, it's not even bad, it's just there. By the way, the art cover is amazing. What do you think about Lord's solo power? Did you like it? Do you feel like it's an amazing album and I'm just tripping? Like the video if you like the video, and if you hate the video, give it a thumbs down, 
because YouTube won't even show that shit. Watch my last video about Iconopop. And if you want to keep up with me off YouTube, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Don underscore Angelo to see what I'm listening to and, you know, other things non-music related. Also subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos. Anyway, I'm Don. I'll see you soon. Bye.